Recently, I read something that reminded me how important it is to say yes to life. Because I know personally how easy it is to say no. I will say yes when this has happened. I'll move forward with my life when something else has sorted itself out first. Instead of saying yes to life, we're saying no and dying inside. How sad that is. And it's the same with God. God is inviting us to say yes to life. Yes to the possibilities. Yes to all that is here for all of us equally when we open our hearts to God. But instead, most of us don't trust that God is here for our good. We've been taught perhaps that we need to be perfect first before God will really love us. And how can we ever live up to perfection? So we don't trust that God is here, offering possibilities, opening doors, giving us ways to say yes that excite us, that connect us, that bless us abundantly, and not just the select few, but all of us here, when we turn to God and all that God is for all of us. Scripture reminds us repeatedly that God was always here for the Jews. So many stories in the Hebrew scriptures and what comes to mind immediately is the story of Joseph. When his brothers came to him and he could have thrown them in jail, they threw him in jail, but he, he told them God meant this for good. So can we find God as good here working through us and for us and around us. We can when we say yes to life. Yes to the abundance of God working through us. Yes to joy. Yes to love. Yes to peace. So each of us in our own way can find the way to say yes to life. Look for the doors that are opening. Look for the possibilities. Instead of saying no in your mind and your heart, say yes, say yes to life, say yes to God, and look at the ways that you are blessed. And if you feel you'd like to share any of those stories with us, you can do so, contact us, email us. We love to hear how everyone is saying yes to life and the endless possibilities that are even now coming forth for all of us, for the many of us. Thank you.